What's up, everyone? I forgot what I said last time. We this is our like second take. We had some mic difficulties. They don't first need to time. know all that. That mean it happens. Y'all don't need to know all that, right? What are you gonna do? So, welcome back to our second episode of Let the Record Show. I'm Tiffany, and this is Jonathan. And you're not gonna go through all your names. No, you're gonna save that for another time. I'll let the record That's fine. You can do show. That. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and get started on these topics. Hold on, now, because I ain't Will Smith, all right? I bet. I ain't Will Smith, and you ain't Jada up in here. What you mean? Because I have hair? Or what? Oh. I was trying to say, like, what do you mean when you say that? Don't or talk, you talking about? Don't talk about that black queen like that. Nigga, I have never heard you say <laughs> that before. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard this type of language. But yeah, we back again, y'all. Yep. Um, so what did we do this week? We watched the Grammys. Oh yeah. It was pretty boring. I was excited that her won. Her I did I, win. What did she win and for? Perf- who know? You know I don't you know I'm the horrible. <laughs> Best R and B. Nope. That may have been Jasmine Sullivan. Ooh, no. she deserved to win. She didn't win, did she? She did. Oh, she did? She did. She won for uh, Hotels, R&B album. Oh, yeah, she sure did. She sure did. Um, And then, um, I'm not sure what her won for, but she won. Maybe female something. I don't know. Because I feel like Jasmine Sullivan won for like R&B album. And then maybe she won for female. R&B. I don't know. I'm looking now. But while I'm looking, I'd like to let the record show that... The Grammys are nothing more than a popularity contest. It's not really about the music, if you ask me. It probably is not. But, I mean, I was still glad to see those black women. Okay, Jasmine Sullivan won for R&B album. Yep. I was right. See, look at that. For I Hotels. Know, I be knowing a little Hose spelled H-E-A-U-X. Yes. Hey. The hotels. Ho- like, like, Fotels. I don't see a... Uh, okay, so her didn't win? Or she just before. On here. Oh Lord, you telling the people that her won and she ain't win? <laughs> she ain't win. Lord have mercy. She did win. She did win. Oh, okay. For traditional R and B performance. Agreed. I don't even know what the hell that is. I don't either. But that's hey. what I'm saying. Like No, no, no. We're not gonna downgrade her award. I'm you know She's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it a step further. She's a Grammy award winning artist. I don't think the Grammys is for us. Somebody ever thought it was? Well, all right, never mind. I'm about to say, you say stuff like, oh, yeah, it was ours. <laughs> like and it was, they took like, it over. Like it's a profound statement. Right. <laughs> Everybody like, like duh. <laughs> it I needs mean, to be for us. Our music be, listen, if you don't feel like hip hop and R&B pretty much is the music wave now, I don't know what to tell you because it is. And I feel like the award shows, like the Grammys, should reflect that. You know what? I mean, it's like wishing on a hope on a prayer. You know, it sounds good. Yes, that would be ideal. But I just don't think that's... It's not a priority for people. um, Because, truth be told, we can't get on the same damn page about stuff. Touche. So it's hard to, you know, mobilize all of our voices in one unison. Do you think we'd be better off starting our own? Well, that's what BET was supposed to be. And then when they, they sold to Viacom. And then when they get on, it'd be your ass a little white girl. A white company. Or whatever. You know what I'm Jewish, saying? I guess, in this instance. Tomato, no, tomato. Yeah. All right. So, I, mean, I just wanted to. Give I mean, my but hey, sense. who am I? I don't, I don't, I don't know about these things i'm just guessing the one girl she won a lot of awards uh what's mm-hmm. her name that one that your daughter like oh the doja cat girl she doja won a cat. lot she she won oh maybe not a lot i just saw the one that was her and scissor yeah that was televised i didn't what was that for best song or something who knows i don't really doja cat's not for my demographic she makes some all right little music i ain't even gonna front okay that's what's up she she got like a um uh, she got like a hip hop twist. She brought like a hip hop twist to uh, what's the girl? Black? Katy Perry. She like a hip hop Katy Perry. Is she black? 
don't know. Oh, okay. What you call look? She got four Grammys. Who? Uh, Adele. Adele. I was like, what? Are I can you doing? I can never remember her name without singing that song. What is you doing right now? She's not fat no more though. What's wrong with that? She cheated. How you know? That's what she said. You don't know what she did. I you, can tell. You wasn't there. That's not natural weight loss. You wasn't there. All right. You don't know. I she don't could. know. She just looked like she cheated. I hope she didn't cheat. Adele, I hope you didn't cheat. Is that cheating? Yes. When you're like the size she was. She she was. So, okay. She wasn't let's, like. Let's talk about this. We, right, we've been on. talking about this amongst ourselves. We can talk about it with y'all. All right. Like what your definition of fat, obese, overweight. Like what's your what? And I feel like she wasn't. She was fat. She wasn't obese or nothing. She wasn't obese in my mind. She was obese to your technical doctor. Well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but like she was, her BMI was off the charts. BMI don't matter. I mean, it don't. But I'm saying that's what they go by. Yeah. She was She was fat. She was She was a heavy set woman. She was heavy. So you're saying ain't nothing a little gym couldn't fix? Yes. A little gym and a proper diet. Right. Okay. Yeah. Clean up her diet a little bit. Get her a little active. She would. It took a little longer, of course. But she took, from what it appears, she took the shortcut. I could be wrong. You could be. I don't be knowing. You she, wasn't. It there. may have been a long time. I don't know. I but, feel like she been away from the music for a little bit. Yeah. If she was working hard. <laughs> <laughs> if she was working hard, there's more power to her. God bless that young child. Oh yeah. It'll be all right. Um. So there was a, um, a, something I want to talk to you about because I've been watching for a while now, just not immediate. I've been watching different Netflix like series and um, docu series and all that. Okay. And white men, white people, they fail up so frequently. What you mean by fail up? So like they. So for instance, there was this docu series about um, I, what is it called? Where they are now or where? the movies you love or something like that. And it went back and showed like the different movies Okay. of like, you know, I don't know, pretty women and ghostbusters. And Was type. it like from certain time periods or something? Well, like you from know, eighties or from no, 70s it didn't just or... specifically, but it was just back in the day movies, Okay. you know, how they got made and stuff. And majority of the movies were like white men who like went to what's that school out there? Burbank. SCC something USC USC they went to like USC film school whatever got somebody to invest in there whatever oh yeah and then they and they were just able to make like people just invested in them they failed Mm -hmm. and then they got another chance and then it just so happens that these movies that are more notable pretty woman and I've made it okay so they just kind of failed up they had the opportunity to to fail to fail and be able to get back in the mix yes well, and that's so and wait. And so that's not just it. So then, you know, that um, there was the one about, you know, the tender swin- swindler or whatever. He I mean, he didn't fail. He was he was getting over on people. But somebody has hired him like or not hired him. They've signed him. Uh, Agent in Hollywood has signed him. Because of his popularity, because his story. On top of that, there was another um, little limited series that came out about inventing Anna. This white girl from, I think she was German or whatever. She came over to the United States and she was just, she got into the Manhattan elite. She ended up getting caught. But my point was they just let her run a muck based on the fact that she had an accent. She was supposed to be a fake heiress. Her father was like a... Depending on who you talk to, her father was an heiress or... Her father was the... the, the she's the heiress. She's the heiress. Okay. Her father was like, um, I don't know. He could have been a, a Russian something diplomat. He could have been a, um, a, art, a famous art dealer. Somebody of prominence. Yes. And so that made her an heiress. So everybody kind of lived on that, her word of that. Okay. She was almost a she was she swindled so much money out of these Manhattan elite mm-hmm. based on just that. All right. And the way she carried herself or whatever. 
the compassion that people showed her when she got locked up. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were like, oh, my God, what made her this way? Mm -hmm. We must figure this. I mean, it was ridiculous. All right. So what's your beef? Why do they get this? Like, why? Like, why is it like that? She's a crook. She was a crook, a criminal. And they were like, oh, my God, let me just. And then they had this black girl. I imagine it was her friend. And she was so enamored with her because her basically her hustle. She was like, she she be hustling. She be grinding. She oh, going to make she a way. That. And she admired that in her so much so that she was behind her, her whole trial everything mm-hmm. just like as we do i guess as black women just stand behind stupidness did she know crooks. that did the girl didn't know that she was a crook initially or she found out just like everybody she else she found out her like everybody else and did. she was still like man you know what i still respect her. i still respect her hustle. respect the grind okay. yes okay. and i was like why she a criminal you ready for my explanation as to why no okay well, let but, me know when you're ready you ready now I'm never going to be ready, but you need to say it anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to know if you're ready because, see, my explanation involves a lot of sex. You know, it involves... No? So you don't want to talk about my topic. That's all you had to say. Nah, so it's simple. I, and, and, you know, I would say Stevie Wonder could see it, but he ain't blind. But that's a whole other topic. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're not. Any blind person can see that it boils down to white people having an environment to do this you know what i'm saying so it's no different than let's say let's take one of the more affluent black counties in the country Mm -hmm. prince george's county okay right you could one could say that black kids get to fail up or have been able to fail up within that environment because that's their environment Okay. And so essentially, on a larger scale, white people have a larger environment to fail up in because it's their environment. So what you're saying is I need to get a bigger environment. That's what you're saying. We all need to spread our environment. Okay. I'm okay with that. That's it. Yeah. That's the bottom line. Now, how we go about doing that has been the issue <laughs> thus far. But that's that's really what it is. Yeah, that's true. That's what it is. But yeah, that was something that was just kind of, it grinds my gears. It was funny to watch the whole Inventing Anna thing because she was just getting over on people. And they was just like, yes, I mean, yeah, she got the money. Yeah, you know what? And she would just argue with people. Like, let's say she would rent out a, the suite of the suite, Four Seasons, whatever. Yeah. And she, Presidential I, my, my father will send you the wire. Oh, okay. My father will send it. You didn't get this petty. Why are you bothering oh, me so with this Oh, so people petty? was fronting the money off, off rip, just off of her, uh, what you this, call it? Then she got a bank to front her. Reputation. Like, yes. Then she got a bank to like front her 200000 mm. from nothing. Man. Like they were going to loan her money to buy a building and invest in a building. But because they treated her like they didn't trust her, right? Mm-hmm. Because what was supposed to happen was, since it's like an overseas thing, she was supposed to show proof of her finances, right. her trust and everything else. She had some fake app, had the bank guy calling, and she was the voice, but it sounded like a man. Oh, so it was just negligence on the bank's part as the, far as verifying. And this was a partner, a senior partner at the bank. I mean, that it happens, this. I believe it. But again, that's the environment. That enabled her to do that. And then they tried to spin it in the story. And I don't know if this is true or how it happened. They tried to spin it like the reason why he was so negligent at the time with um, verifying her funds and all that and Mm -hmm. approving her was because he was going through his own personal problems with his own daughter. Um, And his daughter was she was around the same age trying mm -hmm. to find herself type thing. So you just like, oh, you want to give those leeway because she has a plan. She has a vision. So why not fund it? I mean, and you do want to do that for your child. I get that. But this ain't that. I understand what you're saying, but that could happen. (sighs) Just think if you if we had that environment and not necessarily you, but somebody of color was in that position to give out that loan and was going through something and somebody that came in that reminded them of 
their they daughter that they was going through, they'd be like, let me throw them a bone. That's the environment that they've created. That is. So, I mean, it is what it is. I yep. mean. And so, because of his say-so, because he's like a partner in a prestigious um, accounting firm, mm. they fronted her like 200 grand and she went ham with it. I bet. <laughs> she <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that we need to be creating the environment so that we can be scam artists. No, no, no. I don't want to be scam artists. Because we got artists. too many damn scam artists in the, in the <laughs> little bit of environment that we got now. Lord have mercy. That's the new crack. Scamming. I know. I've heard about it so bad. Shoot. It's not funny. It's actually kind of sad. Yeah, hey, man. People feel like. But I feel you, though. That's we, the only we one. Need, we, need that. we need our own little piece. Our yeah. own little portion. Yeah, just something. I mean. It's a lot of trauma that we got to get over first. I know that trauma real. Yeah. It's real and it hit constant. And everybody don't realize that it's trauma. Yeah. Everybody think it's normal and it's this and it's that and whatever and don't nobody want to heal. It, it's, I don't know. I think first, a lot of times that people just need to recognize that there is trauma. That's like just saying. come to terms with it. It's not nothing you can just pray your way out of. No, no, no shade to you anybody. Can't just pull up your bootstraps and just just Grind keep going. No. no, we got you. Got to recognize, it. hey, I'm jacked up in the game. I got <laughs> I a lot of trauma, it. and I need to deal with this trauma first before I move on and do anything else. You really do. You have to. Granted, this ain't no PSA for uh, mental health. But no, 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 no. I'm just talking about from personal experience. Like yeah, that's that's a part of the game. We, as a couple, we have had to come to a lot of realizations, realizations. Yes. about our life, and only to get us further. Like yeah. it only could get us further. We had to come to terms with certain things. We don't have the luxury of being able to not face certain realities and just keep it pushing and this that and the third we don't have that that's not if we want to be any type of any type of uh, uh if we want different for the people coming after us if we want to make some type of impactful yes change if we want something dip we we're ha we have to make something got to give something has got to give and if it has to start with us we were willing for that we yeah. we were like you know what if it has to start with us so be it yeah so yeah that was my 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 get off my shoulder okay thing that get was it, what it, i had oh there was a funny thing i had too it was something okay. funny you did you I'm have something laugh. you wanted to go i did go you? after your funny my funny oh i gotta find it now I like laugh. okay so this says so like on twitter they men were sharing the craziest thing they've done while dating okay um so the guy, he said, what's the wildest thing, a thing, a piece of, I'm thinking he says coochie here because they blocked it out the word. Okay. Coochie had you doing. Right. <laughs> he said, this is a safe place. Right. So basically you won't be judged. So the wildest thing, a piece of tail had you doing. doing. Yep. All right. Okay. Um, so this says, went to her job to beat up her coworker that was bothering her and her boyfriend was too, I'm thinking this is pussy, to do it. Oh, um, um, Got a friend of mine to give that same boyfriend a job working nights so I could be with her. Yeah, that's wild. I, I, man. <laughs> now, now, as far as... That's, the, that's the mean, you hear me? I mean, Make a man change gods. He didn't change something. He didn't <laughs> gave somebody, another man a job. Just so he could be with her, Jesus. I, I was I was there with him when with the whole beat up part. Now I done showed up to beat up somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't I didn't hit my man like, hey, we gotta go, we gotta go up here and go handle some things. You know what I'm saying? And right. we just showed up ready, right? But that's that's as far as it has gone. Okay, well, there's more. Oh, that was just one. Guy? That was one. Oh, this guy. is different. Okay, all right. Guy. What else they got? Said I bought her car with cash and never rode in it one time. He a simp. I knew he was gonna say that word. Cause he is. It's not a simp. You don't know that situation. He a simp. Next. 
Okay, so this one says, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh. <laughs> he said, I was hitting this 45-year-old when I was 27. Okay. She had me gone. One day she had to go to work for an emergency. She asked me to take her husband lunch. Bruh, I brought this nigga a meal and took it to him. I told him I was her nephew. Wow. How does he not know his wife's nephew? I mean, it happens. What? I mean, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. That Maybe. doesn't even make sense. I what mean, type of marriage do they have where he doesn't no, know? No, wife's nephew. Yes. Yeah, that does seem far-fetched. Come on. Maybe a cousin or something on on their father's side. Don't know why they're all their father's cousins. I don't know about that one. <laughs> you don't know about that one? I don't know that about that one. That one seemed like he made it up? That would seem like a little stretch. Okay. Maybe maybe he was like, yeah, I'm the great great nephew or something. Well, 45, she can't be that great. I mean, no. Well, it depends. Great great? Great. You could be a great nephew at, at 45, 45 you but can. still. You could be a great nephew at 45. Bruh, what husband is going to be like, <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Who are you again? Okay, I believe this. I mean, on the flip side, he could be like, I mean, what nigga would bring me food? Nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something's <laughs> afoot here. <laughs> I'd be like, you keep that lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else you got? Okay, took a charge for her little brother. <laughs> you going to risk your freedom? Took a ch- I was that's some mean stuff. Prison? You go to pri- I don't know if it's prison or jail, whatever. Simping ain't easy. I see. Wow. She must do the thing from, from the, the chandelier. Ce- from the ceiling fan. From the ceiling fan. Yeah. Yes, she do the thing. <laughs> she, do the, she do the thing. This one not bad. Move to another continent. I don't think that's bad. Another continent? I mean, that's Europe. Who would want to move to Europe? Or, you know, what? Asia or Africa or Who, something. I could see if it was another state. Asia, Africa, North and South. He could have moved to South America. What's wrong with that? That's not bad to me. That's not bad. I hope he's still with her. I, it doesn't, because it, well, of the thread, it makes me feel like none of these people are still with that person that they did all this for. That's what mm. it makes me feel like. Man, he probably still with her. Okay. I hope. Um, that's not bad. Okay. I drove from Columbus, Ohio to Gary, Indiana in 1990 to meet a girl I was pen pals with in the Marines. Right. I was 20 with no idea how far it was. It was a five-hour drive. I was using a paper paper map. Oh. <laughs> you know, because back then. What year was this? 1990. Then we had the map question. <laughs> My man was, had to drink, spread out on the hood. <laughs> like, okay, so if I go up this Just route. Like, Got to take 97 so north. Far. And then. Yeah, he had no awareness of road hazard. Nothing. Traffic. Nothing. I finally get there and it wasn't the girl who was writing me. It was her 400 pound sister. Man. I don't know if that considers. I mean, he was. He wasn't off the foot. He wasn't drowning in that. He was yeah, more. He ain't, yeah. yeah, he didn't even get it. This I was mean, off. we don't know. He could have got she the 400 pounds rolls. She must have been writing some good words. You hear me? Man, for all that, he might as well. Yeah. Went on and be like, I would move some of this fat over here. Let me. Oh. He done came all this way. Lord, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just no. saying. <laughs> might as well. He already taken the L. He might as well take another one. Fuck. This girl told me to pick her up from her house. I was confused, but she lived with, um, because she lived with her boyfriend. But I said, F it. And maybe he's not at home. When I pulled up, they both came out to the out of the house. She kissed him goodbye and hopped in the back seat of my car like I was getting in an Uber. Wow. Like she was getting an Uber. So he was a bona fide side nigga. Yeah, but I think he was okay with it. Wow. No, because he like, this is the craziest thing ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was, well, yeah, because he was yeah, like. Yeah, he was like, oh my, this is happening. This is, okay. Wow. He ain't going to say nothing. So, now that we've got that out the way, what's the craziest thing you've ever done to get some, some tail? 
man, I, I ain't got nothing on that level. First of all, because <laughs> I ain't never been no simp. You hear me? <laughs> you <do. laughs> nah, but I'm trying to think. The craziest thing that I've probably done was something to help the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always been a, a team player. I'll take oh, an L oh, for the team as long as it's not an ugly L. Oh, Lordy. I'm a great wingman. Ooh, I was a great wingman. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I can't think of nothing. I, I've, I've, <laughs> I've pretended to be interested in a girl just so me and my homie could get a ride home. Oh, well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it wasn't because of the tail. I don't even know if I got the draws. I probably didn't. I ain't want them draws. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I ain't never done nothing super duper crazy over no hind parts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had to. I ain't never had to. Now. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, for me to get some penis? Yes. Never. I've ever had to do anything. Now, I've had some people do, do some, some stuff. crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've had some people do they some stuff. They done do some crazy stuff to get to that thing. They have. Man, I'm trying to think. I'm talking about. So, one point in time in my life, I may have been friends with more than one guy at a time. Mm. Your daughter might see this. And one of the guys I was friends with. Your son might see it too. One of the guys I was, I'm still their mother. What are they going to do? Um, I was friends with, was upset at me for Not being honest with my location and where I was going to be when I said I was going to be there. All right. Now, is this a situation where he's done something crazy over you? So he slashed all my tires. So I had to get my other friend to get me new tires because I couldn't get in trouble with my, with my mom. Like, how was I going to explain my tires? Not I'm upset. I am upset because... Had I known that you were dating Will Smith, <laughs> <laughs> we could have capitalized off that. You know what I'm saying? That's not something that you withhold. Let me tell y'all something. That type of information right there is not something that you withhold from your partner. I'm not saying I ain't never heard this story. I just didn't put two and two together. All she had to do was tell me, yeah, I dated Will Smith before. You know, whoop -de -whoop. Never it didn't last Will long. Smith. And I'd have He's been like, you know what? Me. It I didn't last it. long, but give him a call. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because we can hustle his simp ass. Oh, God. We can come up off of him and his wife. Do you hear yourself? And their kids. Because they all crazy. Do you hear Graham yourself? Graham, what they call her? What's her name? What's oh, Gammy. Gammy. Gammy, too. No, come don't on. bring the grandmother into this. Man, they all crazy. But yeah, that's that's super simping right there. What? Why would a man slash anybody's tires? Because I was lying. It doesn't matter. I was lying and I got caught in the lie. Women lie. <laughs> I was lying and I got caught in the lie and he slashed my tires. And I needed new tires. So I had a, my nah. other friend get me some new tires. This nigga I, was like, did he get mad? Who'd you get the tires from? <laughs> So, so this all happened like within a night. It was like a long day, day night type situation to get the new tires, to get my car towed, all that. So I get a call at like, it had to be four in the morning. It that was, was this nigga. That was back in the day when you had, you was pressed because you had your own phone line that, you know, was my line. Nobody else's. You know, two houses. Kids well, I mean, don't know nothing about that these I days. Know. Two phone lines in the house. It was my own personal line. It rang at like four in the morning. He, I was like, hello? Because I was asleep at that time. Mm -hmm. I was asleep. I was like, hello? How you get home? Exactly. That's exactly what he said. I know you. How you get home? Because you had flat tires. You had four flats. He didn't say you had flat tires. But he was like, how the fuck you get home? How you get home? 
And I was like, I'm, you should have hung up the phone. I, you should have been like, Listen, I said I drove. You That's a super a, simp. Goodbye. No, I was like, I drove. He was like, click. <laughs> and he hung up on me. <laughs> ah, those are days when there was a lot going on in my life. I didn't value peace as much as I do now. No, you didn't. You didn't value men. <laughs> Cause these niggas was super simping out here. I didn't, you know, it, I don't, I didn't value peace as much as I do now. I value peace so much now. I would, ne you know, it just, it's not in my heart. I can't think of nothing crazy that I done did for some tail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've never done anything crazy. I've had stuff. That was just the wildest story. There's been other things. But that was just the wildest story. You know, I come from a long lineage of players. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's just it's just a code that's, that was just embedded in me from birth. Birth. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to my dad. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um. But yeah. Damn, I'm trying to think. Damn, I'm like, damn, have I done anything? I ain't never done nothing wild like that. I was always too cool for school. I can, I can, dig, I can see that because I given birth to his sons of yeah. his, so I can understand how that could happen with someone like him because they not gonna look crazy. Now like they've nothing. done some stuff. <laughs> there have been some competitions and some. That's different. Some things that women have done, but that's not nothing new. It's that's a, that's my point as far as simping. It's not. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying it's not odd for a woman to do strange things for a man. But it is a not a rare occurrence these days. But at one point in time, it was a rare occurrence for a man to do something crazy for a woman. And that's where simping came in. It was like, bruh, what you doing? It wasn't. You lie. Because when we talked about simping before, it was the fact that Babyface was doing so much for this woman and nothing was being reciprocated. Let's be clear. Babyface was making great music. Okay. We don't know if he was doing any of the things that he was saying in his songs. But he wrote about but it. But the songs implicated that he was exhibiting simp behavior but i'm saying that's what the word i'll is. buy your clothes that's the word when we discuss that i'll word. cook your dinner too i'm just saying that's what soon it as i get home from work i'll pay your rent come on come on but we don't know what that I mean, lady was did. doing on the other side. Right. We don't know what because she was doing on the other side. You buy my clothes. I don't buy your clothes. That I don't you have rent. Tell that lie. I don't have rent, but if I did, you would pay it. You don't really know how to cook, but I'm pretty sure if I asked, you would. Oh, don't play me. Don't play me. Don't 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 play me in front of the family like that. Don't do that. I can scramble up a mean egg, even though I don't eat them. I'm gonna say I don't want damn eggs. I mean, but you know, okay, thank you. My pancakes is fire. My kids them, love them joints. Them kids eat anything that has sugar in it. <laughs> I think it's gonna count. be like, man, fuck them kids. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say that. It's so funny when people say it, but it's so mean at the same time. Yeah, but I get it. But I get it, and I I'm like, eh, man. I get it. But my point is. When I was getting ready to talk about the crazy things that women have done, that I've witnessed women do, mm -mm. you was like, I mean, I don't really, uh. eh. That's what I'm saying. It's more crazy for a guy to do some odd stuff for a girl because that's just, that's not in a guy's nature typically. But now we got a lot of. I don't agree. I, I don't call them simps. Depends on who they doing it for. None of these guys probably should have been doing the things they should have been doing to, to, to or for me because we weren't exclusive. Earmuffs. Bitch niggas. We weren't exclusive. So they shouldn't have been acting this way. Now he should act this way about me. No, I should not slash your tires. Well, no, you shouldn't slash my tires. That's what I'm saying. That's bitch assness. And you know it. 
I'm not saying the Now, granted, you probably were flattered by it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a good story to tell. <laughs> it was like, this nigga flattened on my title. <laughs> but no, I. it's not that. I'm saying not the act itself, right? The definition of simping that you guys call simping, it, some things you should do for your... You know your women. It's all about if the it's level your, of. It's, it's all about the woman, give and the take and the reciprocation. It's your woman. That's what it's about. It's about the give. Nash, if it's a one-sided affair, then you simping. You run the risk of simping. If you doing everything and you not and it's it's not an equal thing going on, bro. You you run the risk of simping. I hear what you're saying. But if you lose your mind over a woman, I don't know if that's simping. Cause I literally would lose over my the mind. wrong woman. I would lose my mind. Clear over case, you. Will Smith. You can't tell that man that's the wrong woman to lose. I his can't. Mind. You know why? Cause the niggas a simp. No, I don't. I'm not gonna say that he's a simp. To the third degree, but I don't want to keep going on and on about him. Please don't. I'm not going to. You know who not one no Well, never mind. I ain't even gonna do that. Who? I'm not doing this. Who? I'm not doing okay, this. Okay, I don't want to know this. But I, what I did want to do is give you. <laughs> The definition of, of what? the simp. I don't really. I have my own definition. I don't need it. I know it when I see it. Now, who is this? Oxford defines a simp <laughs> as a silly or foolish person. Okay. I mean, depending on. Now, another definition I see says that a simp is an internet slang term describing someone who shows excessive sympathy and attention toward another person. Typically someone who does not reciprocate the same feelings in order to win their affection. I've already said this before. My Will point. Smith sat up here and went and slapped a dude that Why are we back on one that? could consider is his friend. And his wife, the one that he slapped dude over, was like, I don't know why he did that. I wish he wouldn't have. How you know she said that? She she released a statement. Where's the statement? Let me see it. And I want to see it come from her page, too. Because what we're not going to do is there is a lot of men in these streets that keep dragging Jada. And I get it. There's a lot She's of women it. that's taken up for a foul woman. Listen to me. His shit just ain't caught him yet. That's all. That's fine. See, you we guys, can, all we have guys, to go off of is what we know. And so that's what I'm saying. People are living in these glass houses and throwing stones. It's not right. Like it, the only reason that people are talking about her so hard is because you know August came early. That's all. <laughs> oh shit. That's all. Like August came early. I'm just saying that's what happened. That's all. Like, if he hadn't just known how to be quiet, because you don't pay hoes to have sex with you, you pay them to leave. If she, you know what I'm saying? Like, who if was he, the hoe in this he situation? He had left, like, he, he was, was supposed the to. Yes. She was parading him around. She wasn't parading him around. There are multiple pictures of them. He was supposed red to be at carpet. The, he was at the event, too. Don't forget he was a musician. Like, that don't nigga do that. was nothing. <gasps> He had a little song. He I had a little it. song. I love it. He had a little song. It. What else you got? I don't know. I don't want to talk about them no more. I just don't like. He was fact. beneath her. I just don't like the fact that they keep giving all this smoke to her. And for real, it was That's that black man. That's because you're a girl. You're going to sympathize and empathize I'm for the girl. I'm not sympathizing. Both of them have, you know, problems in the workout. I just don't like most people putting most of their energy towards her. That's fine. You can not like what, but what it is is that she, based on what we know, she holds more of the weight in the dysfunction of their public relationship and than Will Smith be, does. And I don't know that to be true. What What do you know to be okay, true about so here, Will Smith? Hold here, on. What do you know to be true about what, what Will Smith has done to her? Here's the thing about that. No, no, no. no Answer no, my no. question. It's not about that. My as a woman, right? I'm thinking of if a nigga is willing to. I had an affair, or, or what I would call an affair. They don't call it that, but what I had an affair. This nigga is willing to sit next to me while I explain myself. 
Oh. This, what? I'm not finished. This is make-believe. This, this nigga is willing to jump up on the greatest night of his life and smack somebody yes. over me. Okay. What has he done to me that he feels like he needs to recoup for? I agree with you 100%. So that's why I'm like, whatever with but all now, the other stuff. All right, now that you've said that, we don't know. It's something. Now, what we do know do is comments. that you were like this with another nigga and you while that. you had a whole marriage and a family. You sat next to me. In what world? In, in this world. Stop it. This world. Stop it. You can't defend her. I'm not defending her. I'm just Hotels won gra a Grammy. There's a reason. Like I said. Now, there's no shade to uh, Jasmine Sullivan because that was a nice little album. I ain't even going to front. But. No. Jada should be like, yes. All my mind. No. <laughs> all my mind is thinking is, damn, if he's willing to do all this. What has he done? What has he? The stuff. I'm like, not mad at you. For th I'm not yet. saying that you're wrong. And we so, just don't know. And so that's what I'm saying. We just don't know. But y'all have common sense to know that. Nah, listen so to what I'm saying. So don't do. So don't keep the same energy. Like nah, y'all know. No, no, no. The issue isn't what he has done that could possibly bring on what she's doing. The issue is that he's out of his mind doing things. For this girl because who doesn't even show that, you know what? I appreciate fault. all that he's doing. You don't know what she does back uh, behind. I the just head. told you that she was like, I wish the nigga wouldn't do that. I want to see it. Oh you still my it. God. I want to see it. See how you breathing? Like, hell no, this nigga. And when he get on, hey, when he get on. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would. Because it's not even a oh. What now she, hold on, let me get this Jada. Let me get this Jada. Because for me, Jada it wasn't like oh, was she what you should. Jada in statement the gym? on slap. Hold on, Jada Pinkett Smith wishes Will Smith didn't slap Chris Rock. What, you said it came from her Instagram. Let me see her Instagram. Let me see. I it. Didn't say no. I didn't say nothing about no Instagram. Oh, okay. This is Jada releasing this statement. That's what I'm saying. Where oh, hold she, on, where and she, I quote: Where did she release it to? Hold on. Oh damn. Oh, Lord, I done lost it. I just shouldn't have clicked on it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hold on. Now, Jada said, I ain't want to do all of this, but here we are. You, I mean, it was you, in the heat you, of the moment, you want and it. it was him overreacting. He knows that. Oh, wait a minute. This is somebody else. Uh. Hold on. Let me get Jada's statement. Oh, they going through the whole thing. Hold on. Do, 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 boom, boom. Do you have an answer? She's on something out. Oh, no, I lost my place, man. Mm -hmm. They most, they do. They do, they do that. The phones be jumping. I get it. They Hold on, like, man. Somebody trying to sabotage me. They are. They always try to do the black man like that. You know what? Next time, we're going to do a live recording. <laughs> And I'm going to have my people put it up for me so that they can be like, hold on, hold on. I got you on the support because I got supporters out here that got it already. Hold on. God dang it. I got supporters. Don't do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I done lost it. Yeah, you has. Yes. You no. Finally, you have lost it. No, that you nigga have. lost it. He, no. done, he done really you lost it. it. You lost it. It's cool. I lost it for you a long time ago. Oh, now you a simp. I ain't no simp. <laughs> you get offended. <laughs> I ain't no simp. Don't There's be, nothing wrong with being a simp. Yes, why it you is. can't be a simp for your wife? Tell me why. Because I'm not a simp. Why you can't I'm be? I'm not a simple ass nigga. Why you can't be a simp I'm for your wife? I'm not a simp. Now, I'm a man that loves his wife, yes. But I, I am not a simp. I don't know that. I slash my tires. How would I know? If slashing your tires <laughs> means that I love you, <laughs> I don't love you. Okay. See? And I will never love you. See? 
That's what I'm saying. If slashing ties means that I love you, is mm-hmm. that if that's the only way that you prove you got to do it something wild and crazy, or what you what you willing to do? So I haven't done nothing wild and nope, crazy. Nothing. Well, then hey, it is what it is. You might want to reconsider. Go get your go find you a Will I Smith out here. I may have to find you. One. May have to find I you a Will Smith out here. If that's what you're I looking want, for, I want that crazy love. Yeah, nah, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm good. I want that crazy love. I'm good. I don't want you smacking nobody, and I don't want to have to smack nobody. I want to be. I want that peaceful love. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I like things to go. Smooth. Years ago, we was about to go out. It was in the summertime. I had on like it was something. It was something cut. Years uh, ago. Listen, I'm telling a story. Can years you? ago. No, it was in reference to this. All right, go ahead. Um, years ago, I had on this outfit or whatever. Oh, man, I done lost cut, the damn quote. Because it didn't exist. But years ago, I had on this, like, cutout thing. And I was like, hey, babe, we were going out together. What you want to do? He was like, so you just want me to go to jail? And I was like, huh? He was like, you wearing stuff like that, and some nigga going to try you. And then I'm going to end up in jail. That's what you want? Because I'm going to lose my mind. Because a nigga's going to act up. It wasn't true, though. And I'm going to have to make him back up. That's not true. That's not what I mean, it's not. I mean, that's not what happened. I really don't care. I really don't. I was just he giving you care. the warning. He do care. He do. All right. If that's, what, if that's the road we're going down, once I go down that road, that's it. Okay, he can't find the quote, and I'm tired of waiting. So can we move on to something else? Because the quote, well, let's all right, we can move on. Court show, the quote didn't exist. I, that's why you asked for proof for things. That's because, all right, because you know what? In the comments section, they gonna put the quote up there for me, right? Y'all got me. We gonna, we gonna, they gonna put the quote up there, and then you are gonna be like, huh? She said that, huh? Well, well, well. I got another excuse to take up for, so it don't even matter. Like I said, holla at me when you when I get the quote. All right. I'd like to let the record show that the, I guess you can call it quote or popular saying of happy wife, happy life. Mm, okay. I think that's a misinterpretation. Of what? There's more to that. Oh, okay. I think I think people have taken that and gone left with it. Mm-hmm. And it's not what they thinking it is. I think people hear happy wife, happy life, and they think, oh, I should just do whatever my wife says. I didn't take it like that. In but... order to. But I'm saying your average person. Okay. Mainly simp niggas. But your average person hears that and they like, all right, I got to do whatever. I got to wait on my wife hand and foot in order to make her happy in order for my life to be happy. And I think that's the that's the misinterpretation. Oh, I think happy wife, happy life is more of a indictment on the fact that. Women require more. And women are more delicate than men in certain ways. Mm -hmm. And so as men, you have to kind of cater to that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You, as men, we can't treat women like we would treat men. But a lot of niggas aren't raised to understand that. Oh, I didn't even think of it that deep. Nah, I did. I had a whole deep dive and I was just thinking about it. Because I was like, I come across a lot of dudes that are very unhappy that will say happy wife happy life and they suffering yeah well because i take it as when people say that it's not necessarily happy wife happy life but it's like if she's happy she'll leave me alone and that's That's, a problem in your relationship you're suffering yeah you're Um, suffering i take it as that i didn't take it as like happy life happy wife and everything's great it's like oh if she happy then she won't ask me to do shit. She won't ask me to hang nothing. She won't ask me to 
um, take out the garbage. She won't ask me to take the kids somewhere. She won't ask me to, you know, I don't know, pick up my drawers, whatever. When in reality, those may be the things that help make her happy. Right, right, right. Not happy, but Cons help, you know, just help life. make things go smoother. Smooth. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah. what I'm saying? And those are things that, in my opinion, a guy shouldn't, it shouldn't have to be like pulling teeth for a, a father and a husband to do. He shouldn't, you shouldn't have to be like, ah, can you for once take your kid to his game? Or can you take the trash out? Or, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it shouldn't be that way, but I think. How you, how you talking? This is my Let the Record show. See? Well, cause you're going down, you know, a rabbit hole. I don't agree with your rabbit hole. So there, I said it. What don't you agree with what my rabbit hole is? What you don't like about my rabbit hole? I said that I think that happy wife, happy life is misinterpreted. So on the flip side of that. All right. Somebody that I know personally, oh. that's all they need in their life. As long as nobody don't say nothing to them. Okay. They are happy or at least what they think is happy. They is this a man content. or a woman? This is a man. That's that's beside the point. The oh. point that I'm driving home is the happy wife, happy life. And that's what I'm saying. As long as his wife is happy, meaning not talking, nagging. That him, doesn't mean that his wife is happy that she's not talking to him. Well, that's what that's what that's what. And, that's, and like that's I, what I said, their definition is that's a misinterpretation. Well, yeah, I don't, yeah, I think I think we're on the same page there. I don't want to. All right. I don't want to beat the dead horse. I didn't come at you as if we were disagreeing. I just felt like it's a, a misinterpretation across the board. And I wanted to let the record show that niggas got the shit twisted. I don't know. It ain't happy either. wife, happy life. Okay. Well, is it? Well, is it that? And then is it? Is it like a running joke too? Like I feel like some some people who actually have a good common sense, they may say it, but. It's more of a common sense thing where it's like, it's almost like a running joke. It's not like they mean it in the whole sense of the words of the other guy I was talking about. There may be another guy in my life that's like, he doesn't necessarily feel that way. Like it's not, it is happy wife, happy life. Meaning like he <coughs> wants to, his spouse to be happy. Um, and so he'll be happy when she's happy. Um, so you can go with that, but it doesn't have to be the end all. Like it's not. Since when you got these guys in your life? That's what I want to know. You know what I'm saying? I have no guys in my life besides you. When a woman's fed up. I know you're not about to sing them on this show. You're going to get us all flagged and whatnot. Oh. You can't sing R. Kelly no more? I don't know. I just get nervous because everybody's so sensitive about him. You know, My voice ain't that good. The way they be like, oh, get him. Oh, okay. I just get nervous. Oh, Kelly made some good music. Oh, my God, did he? He's crazy. Okay. He's bad. But he made some good music. Stuff. That's just like Will. He a simp, but he got some good product out there. He got good movies. Jada, too. She was a part of some good movies. Shane, she did her thing in Shane. Oh, my God. You know what I'm One saying? One of my favorites. Almost top five. Granted, I don't know if there's some lines from her that I call back to for oh no name? i do as a girl but you wouldn't lines. you wouldn't um What's some lines from her hold on hold on is hold jada on. a great actor <gasps> yes she is okay hold on let me think she was like she was like hold on she was like not a little moccasin no 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 she was no, no, that that wasn't a good line there. That wasn't a good. I, I don't appreciate you using my music. You get your own music. Dang, I have something. You put me on the spot. I wasn't ready because ultimately, off the quickness, I quote my man Wayman. Oh man, Wayman was clutching that one. Wait, I mean Shane. I mean Keenan was too. Keenan was too. Keenan was but, too. But, but y'all gotta forgive us. Shame, low down, dirty shame is is a great movie. It's one of our 
best. Culturally. Yes, it's, it's one of our best. It's a great movie. Oh, my God. It's one of our well, best. My man was like, hey, you wasn't saying that last like, night. We you was in bed together. That nigga was like, hey, man, I ain't touch you. <laughs> <laughs> he got mad. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. They don't want to hear I that. do. Yeah, I know they don't. But I'm saying, like, they, um, I don't have a quote from that movie, but I know she said some stuff that was good. She was peaches. I think that Jada has always been uh, an, an she easy did, face she, to look at. She did a drop kick in that joint. That was cute. She did. Jada has always been an easy face to look at. And it was never anything that was like, oh, man, she's the star. But it was never anything where it was like, man, who is this? She's bad. No, no, no. She was good in Living Color. I mean, Lord have mercy. Not Living Color. Different world. Off. Oh, different. Uh, same thing. Different it was always a thing. Saying. She's never been like, all right, who is this? Get her out of here. But it's never been a thing where it was like, hey, that's a star right there. She's always been like, oh, you know what? And Jason's lyrics, she even had an accent. Now, granted, I don't really know what happens in that movie because I think I've only seen it like once all the way through. Jason's think- lyric was a good movie, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Aside from my man's hairy butt. <laughs> People can't help how hairy they are. All right. All right. Like, let's not judge. I'm just saying. Don't put it on camera. You know what I'm saying? You no. got to be like, hey, my butt kind of hairy, y'all. Y'all got to do something else. You know what I'm saying? No, when you're a black actor, unfortunately. Or when you're playing it back, be like, hey, look, we're going to have to bring in an extra butt for that because I don't want my hairy hole hanging out right here. Come on now. Don't do that, man, like that. I'm just saying. But like I was saying. The happy wife, happy life thing, scrap that. It's a two-way street, regardless. Happy spouse, happy house. Facts. I like that. High five. That's the moral of the story. Happy spouse, happy house. Please like and subscribe. Yeah, hit the little thumbs up down below. And notifications so you'll know when our stuff is coming out. Yeah, because we're going to have some more stuff coming. You know what I'm saying? And we just started a new TikTok and Instagram have kids, they said. Have underscore kids, they said. Follow for day-to-day content. Us just living, doing stuff with the kids. Yeah, joking with kids. each other. Follow for more. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. And All we right, out. y'all.